Welcome back to Third Coast, where we continue to introduce innovative, heavily featured machines to the market at a very great price point. Today, we're going to talk about our RA12, and I think you're going to really be impressed with this roller. We've taken what we know of this class of rollers, and we've continued to improve it. I'm going to start with our water system. Our water system is really second to none in terms of the practicality of it. And we're going to start in the front of the machine. So we have our spring-loaded scraper bars right here that you can flip up and down. Now, here's something that is unique to this RA12 roller that uh, you're going to find, I think, very practical. This front, front flip-up access to your water system. And when you look at our water system, we're not running PVC. We're not, we don't have fixed heads. We actually have a stainless steel pipe uh, tubing with adjustable nozzles. And inside of these nozzles, there's a fine filter, fine micron filter for any excess particles that might potentially plug up the, uh, the nozzle. Also on this water system, there's access on four points. This PVC nut here can be backed off. You can run a, a cleaner tube or cleaner pipe cleaner through there, or if you need to heat it up because it is stainless on those cold mornings, you can heat up this pipe. It's not PVC, you don't have to worry about it. Also, look at the nice gas shock hinge. Everything on this fit and finish is just unbelievable. Really, really nice roller. Continuing with the water system, we can see uh, here, we have a very nice uh, heavy duty cap but we also have inside this long filter. So maybe a hose is dropped in there or sediments or garbage, whatever. There's a first catch here on the filter that then goes down through the water system and pre-pump, there's another access point here on the side of the machine to an inline pre-pump water filter that is very easily accessed and you can clean it out. You just reach in here, twist it off. You see, another nice stainless steel fine micron water filter so that you can make sure that you're cleaning the debris. Anything that might slip past that first one, uh, filter before it gets to the pump will get caught here and easy clean access as well. This access point is kind of tucked away here under the machine and again, Nice, neat, and clean fit and finish. Should you need access to the water system further, you can go inside. You can see this uh, foot panel lifts up and gives you access to your components as well. You get, one thing that I really like, again, with all our rollers, you see this really nice, all these Deutsch connectors with this braided cable, very high quality. You're also getting a nice water gauge so that you know where you're at, visible to the operator while he's operating. And look at this cool little feature here. We have a water drain. So whether you're draining uh, the water tank for the system or whether maybe you want to connect a hose because that is threaded with a valve. Maybe you need to fill up your plate compactor's water or what have you, but a very convenient uh, hose drain there or water drain. All of the features that you see on this RA12 that I'm gonna show you today, these are all standard equipment. They come with every machine, no upcharges. Uh, for example, you have a, a heavy duty foldable ROPS with a beacon, a nice high quality beacon that's guarded, as well as full LED lights in front and rear of the machine. So this roller comes with just so many features. And I, as you go through this video, you'll see that there is just equipment on this roller that is on no other roller in this class. As we make our way around this roller, you're gonna see just a, a very thoughtful design as far as your lifting points, your tie down, tie down points, some very, very heavy duty and very large oversized uh, four point tie downs or lifts all the way around the machine. Also, you have here access to your hydraulic uh, filters. So access for service, your hydraulic filters here, externally very large, very nice to work on. 
and then of course your hydraulic gauge. And if we look at the actual articulation joint, very, very beefy articulation joint. It's bolted to both, both sides of the frame, e easy to work on. You can see the quality with your um, tubing and your hydraulic lines and your brackets to keep everything neat and clean. You have a nice step here for ergonomics for stepping onto the machine and a very heavy duty oversized brake system. Brake systems are an issue on these rollers because many of them are in rental and operators just drive through those brakes and over time that brake will wear out and start to slip. So what we do is not only do we oversize that brake, but we also have an alarm. And when I get up on this roller, you'll get to hear the alarm that if the, if the brake is on, it will sound an alarm until that brake is turned off. So it's not easy to make a mistake and run through that brake. Again, just like the front of the machine, very nice spring-loaded uh, scraper bars, easy for replacement and access. But also, you have this, again, very nice lift-up panel where you have access to your sprayers. Uh, again, you see uh, the fine braiding and the Deutsch connectors. Just very, very high-quality fit and finish. And then, of course, your LED lights on the rear of the machine. One feature that I want to bring out is on your fuel cap here. This isn't a lockable, but if you did want a lockable fuel cap, we can, we can do that. Just let your rep know, and we're happy to help you. We're going to jump up on this machine, and I'm going to just show you. I'm a pretty big guy, and I want to show you just how comfortable this machine is. And again, some of the quality, some of the, uh, the, the view to the edges of the drum, the nice dashboard. I'll walk through how this handle, how your drive works. And also before I jump in that seat, because you won't see it once I'm in there, uh, we, this is standard equipment, a nice heavy duty three inch seat belt. Uh, some states require that, um, but it is a uh, added feature and it's an option if it's even available on competitive models. It's just a little feature that is just so practical. On this foldable ROPS, a lot of these are you know nuts or bolts. What we do is we put these rings in there so that as you can see, you just put that wrench in there, you turn it loose, and uh, a lot of people don't have tools on the job or the right tool, the right size wrench. That way you can bend this foldable ROPS down and, and run it uh, down. Or if you're going into a garage or something like that, it gives you quick, easy access without worrying about tools. Okay, let's take a look under the hood and see what powers this bad boy. Again, fit and finish, very nice. Gas shocks. Look at this here, you have a nice oil cooler Definitely a premium feature and not on most rollers in this class that we could find. But definitely in the hot areas on hot asphalt, this is really a nice feature to have. You have the GX Honda 630 engine. This is a premium engine. Easy start, plenty of power. Your exhaust actually uh, is insulated and air directed out through the other side. I'll show you that in just a minute. But look at the quality. Look at all your hose marks, your, your lit sensors, so you know where your power for troubleshooting is. Access to all your filters is very, very nice, very easy to, to work on. We also give you this while I'm here. I'm going to show you this, this little container where you might put the operator's manual or owner's manual or maybe a, a tool or two. Just something handy to have. Okay, let's take a look at the other side. Again, just look at the access to the common service parts. Your hydraulic fill, your oil filter, your fuel filter. Everything is here laid out nice and neat. Your battery, uh, all your hoses. This, should you need access underneath, you have just two bolts to lift this heat shield off. Now, here's what I wanted to explain. In some very hot territories where heat could be an issue, you actually intake air from the rear of the machine. It blows through. There's an opening here that scrubs the heat off of the uh, exhaust and out the side of the machine. So, so that this machine really runs cooler between running the hydraulic cooler and also how we're scrubbing the air off the exhaust to make sure that we don't get a heat buildup inside of the machine. 
Again, very well thought out. Let me jump up on this machine and I'm gonna show you from the driver's view some of the ergonomics and some of the creature comforts. Now I'm a pretty big guy and I have plenty of room on this machine. Very comfortable, plenty of arm room. Now what I want to share with you is, one, you got a nice bar here. I'm gonna turn this view around. Get a nice grab handle for jumping up onto the machine. This operator platform is completely shock isolated. I could show you standing up, I'll show you in a minute how this, the vibration is completely isolated from the operator. Now, your dash, I would say that this is a best in class dashboard. You get a lot of different, inf you get information off of this. So you can tell whether you're in neutral or not. Uh, as the machine's running, you see your vibration, uh, your vibration lights, your battery lights. Um, you have your seat sensor. If I jump out of the seat, See, there's your seat sensor. If your hydraulic cooler is running, it'll show you that. Now these lights in the middle, what they do is you can digitally set your time on, time off for your sprayers. It has your hour meter up top, and then right here, this would be where you can, by second increments, how long, how many seconds you want it on, how many seconds you want it off, so that you can dial in the water system perfectly. Um, I would call this a big roller feature and a small package once again. On the handle, your forward and reverse, you have your vibration and your water system on. That's your water sprayer system and then your vibration. You also have underneath, if you prefer to use your other fingers, same thing, water system and vibration. Now I want to talk about visibility. So from an operator standpoint, you can see the taper on the hood of the machine. It actually narrows in so that the operator, you can see the, tip, the tips of the drums, the edges. So when you're finishing either side, super visibility on this machine. I mentioned uh, a really neat feature on the emergency brake. And I say that because most will run through that brake over time, whether it's in rental or whether it's your own machine, you just forget about it. And with this machine, when the machine is on, and when it is up, when the machine, it's in neutral now, but let's say that your brake is on, and you go to move forward. Hear that beep? That beep is telling you that your emergency, your e-brake is on. Now you put it back in neutral and it goes off. So hopefully they'll get the message with the, and wonder what that beeping is and realize that they have left on their emergency brake. So a really cool feature. Again, these are practical things that uh, we've learned over the years and that you just don't see on other rollers in this category. Okay, we're gonna take this thing for a test ride. about our products go to www.thirdcoastequipment.com we appreciate every one of you and look forward to seeing you here on the job site thank you